The old Danish pointer is a courageous, versatile hunter as well as loyal and stable companion dog breed. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the old Danish pointer. I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the old Danish pointer and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. The old Danish pointer is traditionally used as a pointing dog in Denmark and indeed they do have the typical appearance of a pointing breed. It is a medium sized dog with strong and quite muscular body, rounded and white skull, rounded ears with pointed tips and medium sized eyes in dark brown color. Typical sign of this breed is loose skin around the neck. Interesting fact about this breed is the big difference between males and females. While the males are extremely powerful and substantial, females tend to be lighter and smaller. On average, these dogs have height between 20 to 24 inches, which is 50 to 60 centimeters, and weight is usually between 26 to 35 kilograms, which is 57 to 77 pounds. The old Danish pointer has a short but very dense coat that is somewhat hard to touch and you can find this breed in a great looking white coat with brown markings. The markings can be either very large but also very small which creates brown freckles. The old Danish pointer has excellent reputation as a versatile hunter of all kinds of game, but especially as an amazing bird hunter without disturbing the hunting grounds. It is a steady hunting dog which shows great determination and passion for the hunt, as well as courage, high prey drive and intelligence, all very important traits for a hunter. These dogs also have great stamina and they can hunt all day without problems. But of course, this is not only a hunter but also a loyal and loving companion pet. When they are at home, they tend to be pretty calm and relaxed, but this is an energetic and adventurous breed and is always ready for a long walk, hike or jog and you must provide them with enough daily exercise so they stay healthy and happy. These dogs are adaptable, but they will definitely prefer to live in a house with a big yard where they can stretch their legs whenever they want to. The old Danish pointer is a playful and pretty gentle companion for kids, but of course you should never leave any dog breed with a very young child unsupervised. They can also live without any problems with other dogs in the family, but other household pets might be a little bit problematic because of the pointer's higher prey drive, but of course this can be vastly influenced by early socialization. Denmark is a home to interesting but outside its borders extremely rare breeds. The old Danish pointer is one of the three Danish breeds next to Danish Mastiff also known as Brohomo and Danish Swedish farm dog. The history and origin of the old Danish pointer starts in the 18th century, to be more specific in 1710 when a man Morten Bay started crossbreeding local farm dogs with dogs brought to Denmark by gypsies from Spain. After 8 generations of careful breeding, a new white and brown dog was created with a name Bughound or Old Danish Pointer. It is believed that the gypsy dogs from which Old Danish Pointer was developed were some kind of Spanish pointing dogs developed from St. Hubert's dog. The breed was pretty popular in Denmark, but its numbers declined greatly during the world wars and the breed almost disappeared. The breed was saved by a group of enthusiasts and officially recognized by Danish Kennel Club in 1962. Today this breed is quite popular in Denmark and its numbers are pretty high in this country, but outside Denmark they are still extremely rare and it's almost impossible to find them in other countries. A great fact is that the short and dense coat of the old Danish pointer is very easy to take care of. It does shed some deal all year long, but it's not terrible. Of course, regular brushing is beneficial as it will remove any loose hair and dirt from the coat and it will keep the coat in best possible condition, but even without any grooming at all, the coat will stay in good shape. Just like with all dogs, you should also regularly check their eyes, ears, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. 
There is not enough studies and information about the breed's health, but it seems that this is usually a very healthy dog breed with only limited health issues and with average lifespan around 13 years. Of course, they may suffer from some health issues such as entropion, dysthesiasis, some joint and eye problems, allergies or infections, but none of those are extremely common with this breed. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the old Danish pointer and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rockadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.